I did want to take a moment to gripe about YouTube nonsense. Um, <laughs> so as you may be aware, one of the banes of the YouTuber's existence is copyright claims. Constantly we get copyright claims, uh, both legitimate and fraudulent and questionable. Um, and there's this entity called Vidya, V-Y-D-I-A, that has claimed copyright ownership of multiple songs that SpaceX uses in their, in their uh, Starfield animation before and after their, their um, uh, launch streams, as well as during like their coast phases. You know, so if, if SpaceX has a coast phase, then I don't usually dub over that audio, and so it keeps the SpaceX music playing uh, during the coast phase. And so this, anyway, they've, they've claimed copyright on multiple of those songs, which has caused literally dozens of uh, my videos to pop up with copyright claims over the past few weeks. The thing is, normally when a copyright claim is filed, uh, not only do you see like the portion of the video that the claim applies to, but also they tell you the name and the artist of the song whose supposed work is uh, copyrighted. But uh, Vidya has chosen to hide their metadata, so I can't see anything about the supposed content that they're claiming the SpaceX songs are, uh, are, are violating the copyright of, which is shady as hell because I can't, independently validate the legitimacy of the copyright claims, which I normally do. Whenever I get a copyright claim, I'm like, is this valid? And then I, you know, I go investigate and usually, I, f I mean, almost always, I find, uh, no, this is a copyright free song that some, you know, rapper or whatever used as a background track. And then they claimed copyright on their remix or whatever. And that then flagged you know, the original copyright free song that happens to be in my video. But in this case, I can't validate it. So um, I can't dispute that claim in confidence because I don't know what the original song was supposed to be. Uh, but you know what I do? I dispute it anyway, because screw those guys. Um, you know, if you're going to file a claim, but not tell the person you're filing the claim against what you're supposedly violating, then you deserve to be disputed. And, and you don't have a leg to stand on unless you're actually willing to admit the original song that's supposed to, supposedly being claimed against. So anyway, I wanted to mention it because it sucks and it's a pain to deal with.